Hello everybody, and welcome to the Nexus Gaming Series. I am Jay Zahn, and I've got to a uh, Div C West match for you this afternoon. Not really tonight. It's usually tonight for me, but no, it's totally afternoon for you guys. Uh, and we have a replay cast going here, so I'm just going to get this replay opened up. I Cup versus Plug Walk out of Div C West. Uh, this match actually happened last week. I believe on Thursday, so uh, should be one of the last matches from week one that has yet to be broadcasted. So I'm pretty excited to bring this to you guys. Now, of course, uh, seeing as how this is a replay cast, we will not have the draft for you all. We're just going to go directly into game. And we are loading in now. Just want to make sure we've got everything uh, lined up and ready to go here. Joined, as always, by my faithful... Co Catster, you Sarah. Yes, you can follow her now on uh, Twitter. Don't be shy. All right, looks like we got everything ready to go here for game number one. Let's get on in to Bol or to Alterac Pass is going to be our map, and look who we got on the left. <laughs> We've got. Wafflecopter, team captain for iCup, going to be on the Cho. Delta on the Gaul. We're also going to have Magnite on the Leeming Logic playing the D.Va. And Arc Valley, or Arc Valley, I should say, going to be on the Rhaegar. This is iCup. Meanwhile, on the right, Plug Walk, we're going to see DB Smiley playing the Stukov. Pharaoh's going to be on the Indubarak. Um... Crit Kahlo is going to be on the uh, Leoric. Uh, two Jace is going to be on the False. or is going to be on the Kalthos. I don't think there's even a False stat on here. And I missed somebody. It was Phoenix Vantage going to blink out there on his Phoenix. All right, so we're in right away. Both these teams uh, not wasting any time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the New World Order of Cho'Gal. I'll be very interested to actually see how this match turns out here uh, for iCup. We've seen a little bit of changes to uh, Cho'Gal, so I'm going to want to see exactly how the performance turns out uh, with some of his reworked talents, some of his new mechanics. We'll see. Interesting healer choice for it with the, uh, with the Rhaegar. Not typical of the... Uh, supporting for Cho'Gal that you normally see with uh, um, Ariel being probably the best one. Alex Straza being a pretty good choice. The Rhaegar Ancestral used to be a little better than it once was with uh, Ancestral being so much more powerful than it is now. But after the recent uh, numbers nerf, it's a little bit tougher to uh, effectively utilize there. Oh, man, Leo just barely surviving against Logic up here in the top. Pretty Kala. Pretty Cola? You won't stop moving around. Always walking. Pretty Kalo. Okay, got it. I like I like the strategy here from Logic. Just kind of sitting in the you know in the not not in mech form but in pilot form, just kind of shooting away, getting that extra wave clear potential and damage onto Leo. Can always just step right on back into that mech whenever it's ready. Quick camp grabbed on the side of Plug Walk. These uh, these mid bruisers are really really brutal on this map here on Alterac Pass. In my opinion, stronger than the bosses, which maybe is a little bit of a balance issue, but, you know, hey. Who am I to judge? So we will see Waffle jumping on there on the Cho. Waffa E93. I like it. But a massive amount of damage coming out here from Plug Walk in the mid. They're getting major value off the heels of that camp. Of course, Ferris on his Anubarak here, also helping out with the Beatles, soaking up a lot more of those tower shots so that the uh, wave can get maximum value. DB Smiley gonna rotate right to the uh, 
uh, right to the objective here, trying to see if he can get it capped on the other side. But uh, with Cho'Gall here, probably not going to be an easy task. Cho'Gall, one of the best zoning heroes in the game. Will always be pretty difficult to shove him back. Meanwhile, right now, Plugwalk doing a nice job of prioritizing the Soak. They've got about a half-level lead and are right near that level 7 talent tier. I expect that with that 7, that's when they'll look to try and gain advantage. You see the level 7 talents flying in hot for the members of Plugwalk. Icup, though, actually looking to maybe force the issue a little bit. Logic here does have the self-destruct available, and there it is. We'll go down and we'll just barely hit db smiley the only one that gets hit though they split the members a little bit but right back into the mech goes logic taking a lot of damage there though from the kt that uh, nullification zone not quite enough to take him take his damage out of the equation but chogal is in deep and it's gonna end up going down magnite on the back end does get the cap but that's probably not gonna last very long without their buddy chogal to try and stop them great zoning here from Plugwalk as DB Smiley will get the cap. Logic gonna lose the mech. And now the 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 burrow charge in and logic is gonna go down. Diva not quite having that mech back twice in a row there. And just like that, Plugwalk sticking together as five, working as a very cohesive unit on this first map objective. They're gonna go ahead and take that uh, you know, take the, the cap on that, that uh, camp. I guess I should call it the prison camp to differentiate it from the siege camps. Meanwhile, we do have the members of iCup looking to come in and defend this. It's going to be a little bit too late for the prison camp, but meanwhile, uh, they are still charging, trying to at least get some damage and value, and the self-destruct once again going to be popped, but... There's nothing really stopping the members of Plugwalk from just walking away in that scenario. You almost, w you almost would rather see... Uh, well, I guess you wouldn't rather see it just go down. I don't know. I actually don't know if the charge comes back right away or not once she gets pilot back. But definitely gives her her mech back right away. Which is a nice thing to have. So right now, it looks like the uh, all three lanes are going to be prioritized. The mid in particular, though, once again being prioritized by Plugwalk. That's that's the meta of how you play this map. Um, with, with the with the siege camps in mid being so incredibly powerful, you can get a little bit of extra push before these objectives and during these objectives with those camps uh, if your opponent doesn't react to it correctly. And uh, it really can, can soften it up for later, especially if you get that mid fort it uh, opens up two different avenues to try and steal your opponent's camp and start working on the keep front wall. We will see the members rotating down here from iCup though, trying to defend this fort. Gonna be a little bit too late to uh, stop the fort from falling, but uh, they will try and at least get a little bit more clear on the objective itself. The general's still just marching forward in this lane, but right now it looks like uh, Plugwalk's got bigger and better things to go do with their level 10s. Taking a look at Shogal, but not quite going to be able to catch him out. And they are in good position to siege this here. Uh, Rhaegar still in the bot lane. A lot of the damage is here in mid to at least try and counteract this. And they do a nice job clearing out the wave. But uh, again, Pharos with the, with the beetles able to tank that. They'll even burn the Phoenix to confirm it. And mid fort will go down. That's a pretty good uh, result overall from from that first map objective. Two forts gained out of the uh, map objective and the rotations. And a little over a level lead now for Plugwalk. Meanwhile, on the other side, Icup. Just looking to clean up the lanes right now. Uh, I don't know if they've sniffed out this rotation to the top. Uh, Magnite is about to go check it, as is uh, Waffa. Waffle Waffle. They will be able to zone away Plug Walk for now from this boss. And really, you know, I don't ever think it's worth it to take, to receive, to be on the receiving end of being invaded for these camps. You don't want to be the team that's on there 
Oh, when the fight breaks out. Oh, especially over this boss. This boss is just not that great, if I'm being honest. So it has a rough time. Massive shove coming in from DB Smiley. Gonna push away D.Va. And D.Va does have that uh, self-destruct. Will be a good zoning tool, if nothing else. Vantage actually taking a ton of damage off of the shield there from that. And you can see the members of Plugwalk willing to take that fight when it was I-Cup that's on it. They're going to end up with the Cho'Gall kill. They get the Rhaegar as well, and Logic is going to be in trouble as he pops out into pilot form. The silence goes down, and a four for nothing exchange, and now they can turn around and finish off this boss. That's exactly how you want to play it. You always want to be the team invading, not the team being invaded. And they'll be able to catch the boss out of this. Again, the boss is not incredibly powerful on this map. So uh, I don't expect this to be a back-breaking moment for iCup. But it's definitely not want, what you want to see when they were already a level down. And uh, now, we'll ha well, now we'll be two levels down. And a little bit behind the eight ball when it comes to this uh, prison camp. They are able to zone it out there with the bomb from Cho'Gall. But two J's, we'll go ahead and cap that. Nice name, by the way. About twice as good as mine. We will see Arc Volley uh, catching the gravity laps there. And that's going to be a kill for Kael'thas. And meanwhile, Wafa on the wrong side of this. Actually going to pull a lot of the team in. And actually catches the Phoenix kill off of that. Resects are going to be procced. For uh, Magnite, but not a whole lot of mana to work with off the heels of those resets. And with Cho'Gall going down, we'll see the uh, self-destruct, but this is still going to be a... Even if even if uh, Logic gets the Kael'thas here, uh, Camp has been spawned, and there's three members here just waiting to blow up Logic. Look at the kiting coming in from 2Js. Well played by the Kael'thas. That's how you want to do it, folks. You put your team... In between you and your attacker. And even a ranged attacker like D.Va is going to struggle in the face of all of that. And we will see yet another kill. 12 to 1 now coming in for Plug Walk. Uh, as these generals start marching down the lanes. What do you think, Ysera? I agree. Rough moment here for Icup. Charge in from Pharos and going from tough to worse. As they charge in and get a very nice CC combo and take out two of the back line here. Logic also going to end up coming out of that mech, and this could be the beginning of the end of this one. As they've got a massive wave building up here in bot, and it's only going to be a Cho'Gall to try and defend. The only question is if they go core now. Or if they go after the bottom keep, they are going to elect for the ladder. And they'll be pushing in uh, with yet another general. Four level lead right now for Plug Walk. Double talent tier. Finally, the 13s mercifully come in. But the huge root there from DB Smiley on that, on that, com on that combo. That 13 talent coming, to, coming into play. Big